Cancer signs, welcome to your February 2021 reading. Um, these have been exciting. Uh, we're going to kind of focus this week on past, present, and future. So just depending on when in February you're catching these, you know, use your discernment. But um, also these readings are going to be 15 minutes long instead of 30 to help me preserve my mental health and um, my energy and to give myself a little bit of a break. Um, also, all of the information for uh, private booking is in the description as, as well as with my Instagram and TikTok where I do additional readings on those uh, platforms. Um, remember, these are general readings, so if you wanted to actually me to tap into your energy, that would require a private reading. Um, what else do I wanna tell you guys, Cancers? So I've already shuffled and divvied up your cards, so we'll just spend the whole time talking about what I see here. And really, somebody's going through a major, um, big things, big things, and it feels like it's in regard to love or commitment and relationships. Um, what you've been doing is tapping into your intuition and your psychic abilities and possibly in regards to somebody fire sign. Um, King of Wands showed up next to the High Priestess for your past position. Ah, remember to check your Moon and Rising Sign readings for additional perspectives as well. Of course. Um, so you're working on using, you can even check your, if you're, you have a partner, check their, um, Sun Sign to figure out, to get some more perspectives that can sometimes crack the code. But, um... The High Priestess next to the King of Wands, whether or not you're with a fire sign or you're focusing on a fire sign or not, this is about using your intuition with somebody that makes you feel really yummy. You are at a time where you, what you've been working on is almost like... Perhaps you guys have been on some journey, okay, that felt, that feels pretty emotional. And there was something about the relationship or about the circumstance where you had, okay, cancer sign, sorry for the interruption. Freaking not sure exactly where I left off, but whatever this is that you have been feeling kind of like, um, There's something that you've been not wanting to address or not wanting to feel, not wanting to leave this topic, okay? There's something. This Eight of Cups reverse, it's your only reversal. Eight of Cups in the past position talks about, um, see how she's leaving all these cups behind her? She's made a heavy, a heavy decision that's hard for her to make. It's the moon is out, it's nighttime, and she's, her heart is kind of heavy, but she realizes that if she goes a different direction, she'll be more fulfilled. She's looking for true fulfillment, okay? When this card is reversed, it tells me that whatever this is about, these two cards, the High Priestess and the King of Wands, whatever this is about, a spiritual awakening or um, using your psychic abilities regarding this person or um, whatever this is about that your heart has been heavy and your emotions have been heavy and it's been hard for you to leave it or to take a different path not that you not that you are even supposed to maybe something inside of you has been telling you to go a different direction And maybe that's not even the right direction. But that feeling of needing to go or make a choice or, or, or to move a different way has, has kind of has been difficult. And we get the Hierophant, which is he is a spiritual teacher. So your path, the steps upward, right, is, is your spiritual ascension, is your spiritual journey here in regards to what's happening up here with this, your intuition opening up regarding this King of Wands. Then you get 
this is a different deck. So this would be three of wands, I believe. Reach out. So in regards to this situation, probably in the past, you have made the choice to reach out. Even though for whatever reason, the situation maybe gave you a little bit of um, uneasiness about it. There's something that you were maybe couldn't quite put your finger on. There was something here, but you decided to reach out. Maybe they re maybe they reached out, okay? Or maybe you were trying to connect with them on a psychic level. Then you got Isis, magic manifesting. So maybe even some of you guys were communicating with somebody else on a psychic level telepathy right esp i mean doesn't it happen to you happen to you your friends like oh my god i just had a dream about you do 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 and it turns out like that's kind of what was going on or somebody goes oh my god i was just thinking about this one thing and then that's esp that's telecommunication telecommunication um you know what i'm saying telekinesis or um communicating with other people on a spiritual level without having to call them on the phone or speak to them in physical form. Then you guys got the turtle, be play, be joyful and trusting. So it feels like um, you were heavily working on trusting those urges, those nudges, really, and, and being, having fun with it. Then you guys got Midas star. Luck is on your side. Let the magic happen. Okay, those are for your past position. Um, it does feel like you got you got the word magic twice and the high priestess in the past position. So you guys have been really been doing some manifestation work and trusting in the process and trusting what you feel. In your present position, what a beautiful spread. Seven of Cups, choices and decisions, possibly about partnership. Here's your card, Cancer Signs. The Chariot, Karma, Destiny, Fate, successful movement forward in regards to some connection um, that you have with somebody that you want to like solidify it. And these are unions, marriages, commitments, um, or something you're trying to build. Remember, you kind of have this theme going on here. You've got these these wands. So the wands could be somebody you're dealing with, fire sign or somebody really charismatic that you just, mm. or the wands could signify also creating something foundational. So if this is not somebody that you're trying to be married to or in union with, this is something that you're building that is create is creating a beautiful, stable foundation for your life. And we see success within this. Either it's success within marriage or union. Or you're beginning to see the success within whatever you're building. You went for it. It feels like you went for it. Maybe at first your intuition was like, but you, but, but you followed the predominant feeling. And it's, it's manifested this. Then we have the, the moon card. Okay, more water energy card of Pisces. This shows you going in and letting it wash over you. This is also psychic and intuitive development and feeling those emotions that sometimes can be pretty difficult that most people would rather not feel. Then you got, I believe this is Ace of Wands, strengthening bonds. Y'all really going through something. Very stable, very yummy. Then your oracle cards are light activation. Shine your light. Your internal guidance system is coming through loud and clear. Then you get the B, spreading heart healing with joy. So whatever joy you're feeling, whatever you've worked on to bring happiness in your life is not only benefiting you, but it's it's other people can feel it, which is changing the world when you do that, when that happens, just by you being you and enjoying your life. Then you got your calling so whatever's going on in the present time is, this is what you're meant to do. This is bringing you this joy and excitement. Your life's purpose is like an, an awakening, is like an, an awakening to put your gifts and talents to good use and enjoy the journey of life. Your calling. Um, cancer signs for 
the future. Beautiful. Look what we have here. Checking time because I had to stop the camera and start it back. So I have to check the watch. We have coming together in social gatherings. And this is magic and alchemy and true love. Or things manifesting or information coming to you. Spirit messages. Quickly. Okay. So all your hard work about alchemizing and tempering yourself to match or to regulate your moods or to deal with conflict or um, polarities uh, or contrast is you've been doing a great job and spirit is celebrating your success. You may even be getting together and, you know, socializing. And then for your future position, you get the high priestess again. So this is like for real, for real, whatever external situation is going on whatever this is about whatever this is about you for sure for sure have been it's a psychic journey it's an intuitive journey it may look like a human experience but you're you are working with your intuition through this process then you get rest and reconsider so for the future position there may be kind of a sense of um recalibrating get going back to the drawing board not that you f this might feel like you made a mistake somewhere but it this could also just talk about you making adjustments or the other people in the situation are making adjustments you taking some time for yourself this is very high priestess energy she is all about like getting someplace quiet letting that adjustment come in her body and her her nudgings will tell her where to go and she adjusts accordingly nine nine of what would this be pentacle gosh what are that i i don't know pentacle this might be swords oh this is swords i bet i bet this is swords so there might be a little bit of conflict or angst but then you get expect a Expect miracles. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. This reminds me of having your back, right? Resting up against the rock is super sturdy. They have your back. Then you get the donkey. Keep your heart open no matter what. Keep your heart open no matter what. And then you get hidden treasures. Bring your creative ideas and hidden talents to life. Present your gifts to the world. So whatever you've been going through in the month of February, whatever you go through, whatever themes you've been dealing with, have been um, have probably brought to the surface parts of yourself or have showed you um, gifts that you didn't know you had, something to that extent. It's pretty exciting. We have a minute and 20 seconds left for you guys. So let's check the bottoms of the deck, which I didn't do for anyone else. Seven of Swords reversed. So we're looking at our fucking head getting in the way or these are just little things that will come and derail us. This could be people fucking with you, but I really feel like this is more of like you getting in the way of your process, your peace of mind. Okay. And what's on the bottom here? The sun card. Okay taking all these up right the sun card so you for the month of february bringing a lot of there's a lot of joy and a lot of light and a lot of warmth um even um clearing old energy in your third chakra even for the month of february <sighs> okay cancer signs i love you guys happy motherfucking 2021 please remember to like my shit and share the love, check your moon and risings, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.